thank you for the gift of life. We pray that you lay your healing hands upon all those in need of love, compassion and self-assurance. Heal their ever so gentle mind, body and spirit for you are the source of an everlasting and blissful life. Fill their hearts with courage when they are afraid, strength when weak, peace when in turmoil, love when forsaken and hope when rejected. Help them overcome the discomfort in their life. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. Why do people take their lives? Those who harm themselves don't necessarily intend to take their lives. They just want to get past a few bad moments in their life. But what exactly causes people to do this? I have become a complete failure. The emptiness is killing me. How do I live with this trauma? I just can't live with the guilt of letting my parents down. I wish they would accept me for who I am. I do not want to be the reason for their sadness and anger anymore. I feel so humiliated after that incident at school yesterday. I feel like everyone's watching my every move. I know that everyone hates me now and wishes that I would disappear. But then, everyone makes mistakes, right? I feel irritated and low all the time. I can't concentrate on school. I don't enjoy watching TV. I can't sleep at night. Everyone seems so happy and busy. I feel so lonely. I need help, but nobody listens. I can't believe I got rejected. I'm going to be the laughing stock at school. How will I face my friends? How could they say no to me? Maybe I should never speak to them again. The scars seem to be healing the scars of my soul. I just need to make sure to wear a long sleeve shirt all the time and no one will ever know about it. As we grow into teenagers, it becomes more challenging to know what we are thinking and feeling. When do the normal ups and downs of adolescence become something to worry about? The more you know, the better you'll be prepared for understanding what can put you at risk. If you have things like excessive sleeping, insomnia, loss of self-esteem, loss of interest in your favorite activities. Unexpected decline in academic performance, weight loss and loss of appetite. It is a warning sign. It doesn't mean that the person is going to commit suicide, but all warning signs should be taken seriously. Don't wait. Talk about it. Asking is always a good idea. Maybe he or she is merely having a bad day, but maybe it's something more if this mood has been going on for a couple of weeks. Let's not wait for them to come to us with their problems or concerns. Don't let their depression or anxiety snowball. Just say, you seem sad. Would you like to talk about it? Maybe I can help. Studies have found that one trait common to those who are affected by suicide is poor communication. Listen to them, even when they're not talking. If your instinct tells you that he might be in danger, heed your instinct. Don't allow him to be left alone. In this situation, it's better to overreact than to underreact. If you often hear he or she say, I want to die, I don't care anymore, or I want to kill myself, repeatedly, it should be taken seriously. Never shrug off threats of self-harm as typical teenage melodrama. Most research supports that people who openly threaten don't really intend to take their own lives and that the threat is a desperate plea for help. The immediate focus has to be on consoling. In a calm voice, you might say, I see, you must really, really be hurting inside. But don't become a psychologist and start diagnosing or trying to give advice beyond your knowledge. That is best left to the professionals. Just listen to them and believe everything they tell you and let them know that you'll always love them and you'll be by their side at every step. Don't hesitate to talk to someone that you're worried about. Let them know that he or she is not alone and that everyone gets sad, depressed or even anxious every now and then. 
It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your support makes all the difference. Encourage them not to isolate himself or herself from family and friends. It's better to be around other people than to be alone. But don't push if he or she says no. Recommend exercise. Exercise distracts people from their problems and makes them feel better about themselves. 30 to 40 minutes a day and 2 to 5 times per week. Any form of exercise will do. Urge them not to demand too much of himself or herself until the therapy begins to affect. Tell them, just take your time, there is no rush. The goal is to rebuild self-confidence and self-esteem. Talk therapy or medication usually takes time to improve mood. Don't discourage them if he or she does not feel better right away. What they really need at this point is a genuine love and support. Show them how much you care by listening to them and appreciating them for who they are. Suicide does not end the chances of life getting worse. It eliminates the possibility of getting any better. It may end the pain for you, but the pain just passes on to someone else. As she grows from a child to a teenager, her cheerful smile melts into a seemingly everlasting neutrality. As she walked ahead, her diary falls. It bore her name, Uzamaka. Your name is as strange as your face. She lived with all the insults that came her way, even though it tangled her like the weight of heavy rocks pulling her down every step of the way. She's flooded with raw emotions, unable to keep it all in and bear the pain. 
she then ponders upon the reasons as to why she should take her life as it was too difficult for her to continue her journey on the road of life you fetched two c's in your report card you really blew it again yet again an insult is thrown her way leading her to believe she is not good enough to take on the journey of life for a brief moment she recalls the memory of her younger self with the majestic phoenix which represents eternity or foreverness it continuously goes through the cycle of transformation death and rebirth by rising from the ashes through fire but here in the flash of a moment everything is reduced to ashes it seemed like there was no coming back together ever again she looks towards the side roads and the escape roads that would lead her out of life there is darkness at the end of these roads but there are no stumbles in the way she is about to head in that direction when she feels a gentle tap on her shoulder she turns around to see an anonymous boy He hands her a potted plant and a watering can. She is confused but nurtured the plant every day. As she watered the plant, every droplet had a nurturing touch of love, hope, care and warmth. All the things required to help her make her way out of depression. Soon, the plant bore a beautiful flower. imperfectly perfect in its own way when she sets the plant down and opens her diary all the elements come flooding at her like a storm the ashes the water the rocks but even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise again keeping that in mind she held on to the plant that made her feel secure it gave her a sense of stability and self assurance to navigate through the way of life as she carries on in life she is blinded by a dark atmosphere it was something familiar as if she was swept through it at some point in her life She meets a boy with a very neutral if not a depressing aura. He too is contemplating on which road to take in life. He was stuck, ready to take an exit from the road of life. She goes up to him and taps his shoulder. When he turns around, we are exposed to his vulnerability. He wore a shirt that said Boys don't cry like it was a totally accepted societal tagline she gave him a gentle smile for she realizes it's time to pass on the goodness she handed over the anchor in her life the plant to the boy uzamaka also handed him a key from her pocket with which the boy unlocked all of his insecurities and accepted him for who he is because after all boys are human too they both realize their worth in the process and decide to become the beacon of light in a hopeless person's life as they both take the path of a new beginning in life puzzled he points at her name on her diary uzomaka it means the road is good she said He nods cheerfully and repeated her name. Uzomaka, they both say together, smiling.